Hey everybody, John Messimer here with Net Effect. Hey, I just got done watching this video uh, from Adam Kokesh. Well, the video is titled uh, Adam vs. the TSA. And uh, basically, what he's doing, he's going around to these, uh, you know, everyday low level uh, TSA agents and asking them, uh, uh, do you mind if I ask you a question? Uh, how many uh, terrorists has the TSA caught? Uh, uh, to date, and of course, none of them can answer the question. But moreover, most of them refuse to to answer the question, and most of them don't uh, want to be on camera at all as well. But uh, I noticed on a number of the comments below the uh, Adam's video, people responded by saying things like, uh, "Oh, let's see here, do 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 do." Uh, <laughs> I wish Adam's family was in a 9-11 plane when it happened. I bet this channel would be about supporting the TSA. Uh, the only thing that you that <laughs> the only thing accomplished from this video is that you made yourself look like an idiot. Congrats. Uh, you clearly are not an educated individual. Did you Google the First Amendment? TSA is about deterring criminal activity. Get a life, man. This is pathetic. Anyway, and there's you know a little you know a little bit more uh, comments like that, but you know uh, some of these commenters uh, basically sound like uh, or try to make it seem like these TSA uh, agents are just uh, good old hardworking people and you know upright and good quality public servants, but most of them, I mean, some of them are no doubt about it, but. Uh, so many of them are just ignorant freaking assholes really and uh, I look at this and go we're wasting billions of dollars having these I mean these are people like you know that would have otherwise got a job cleaning up baseball and football stadiums after the game or something I mean it's like they just went went down the street and collected up as you know many unemployed unemployed people as they possibly could and put them to work in the TSA and then you know kind of brainwash these people into thinking now you know you guys got your two weeks of training and you're law enforcement officers now and they actually think they're real law enforcement people it's just pathetic anyway like uh, watch this one lady <laughs> how many terrorists the TSA has caught can I ask you a question watch this how many terrorists has the TSA caught Today? Yeah. You know what? Oh, you're filming me. <laughs> okay, thank you. Oh, okay. How many ter it's, This is funny. Versus the TSA cop. Oh, God. I, oh, jeez. I don't know. You know, I got to get to work, you know. My, my, you know. my shift at McDonald's is coming up here. I got to get busy. Can I ask you just a question real quick? Are, are you on, on duty, sir? How many... Uh, turn off the camera. Turn oh, it right. off. You're, you're, you're a public official in a public place, sir. If you don't want to answer questions for the camera, uh, that's uh, right. you don't have a... Uh, uh, you don't need to turn it off. You know that. Uh, I don't want to be on the camera. Okay. This guy looks like Buford the Bully with his buzz cut, man. I mean, give me a break. Do you think these people are protecting you? I mean, you, you can put your protection in the, these, these people's hands? All they know is to, to conduct a procedure they've been trained to conduct to search people. They don't protect us. There's no protection here. I mean, this is it's absolutely freaking pathetic. I, I just cannot believe that such a large segment of our population thinks that they need to put their protection in these people's hands. Anyway. So, it goes on, let's see here, there's a couple other good pieces, oh, here, the one I really want to point out is the one, oh, these, these yes. guys are funny. Don't film? Don't film, man. Tell me as a, as I a got authority, I man. Look at the attitude. It's an unconstitutional order, right? It's called the First Amendment. Oh, is yeah. it? Yeah. Oh, well, I'm just a smart ass that, bitch. Well, it's the first amendment to the Constitution, the the right of, of the press, and the right to uh, you know record public officials. Now at least this guy's good humor. Been well upheld all the way up to this. Anyway, it's just 
Gosh, it's just freaking pathetic. Oh, this guy, this is funny. It's, watch this. Okay, you can talk to me. Put the camera down. No, that's okay. But thank you. What, what do you have to say? Like, you, you're welcome to say it on the record. I don't know what just happened, but if she's asking you to do something, I would strongly suggest you not argue with her about it. That's what he says. I, I strongly suggest you don't argue with her about it. I dared argue with her the other day, and she grabbed me by the balls, man. I thought for sure she was going to rip them off. Man, that, 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 that bitch has got some power, man. So, <laughs> don't you freaking argue with her. Okay. You know, that's not going to benefit you. <laughs> anyway, now here's what's funny. is His compadres come up right after him. Right here. Everything good? Everything is wonderful. Now look what at this dickhead. I'm just talking to some friendly TSA agents. Don't you just want freaking... Don't you just want freaking... my personal space, sir? You're in my personal space. Knock his ass out. Well, you, you, you approach me. Because I, I'd like to ask how Why? effective the TSA is. Why? Because I pay for it as a taxpayer. Okay. What do you do for a living? Look at this obnoxious freaking bully. First of all, Adam can kick his ass. This freaking old man sitting there, he's just an obnoxious freaking bully. Look at him. The, you really want to waste your money on this shit? I mean, give me a freaking break. I mean, shut the TSA down immediately. I cannot believe there's so many American people that, you know, when you do the man on the street interview at the airport or whatever, well, if that's what it takes to, you know, to keep me from blowing up in the sky it's okay with me they search me and take away my rights I don't care oh it's no big deal I don't know what all the fuss is about so they strip search you who cares I mean uh, the pathetic sheep you know people what happens to a country of sheep is they get ruled by wolves so many people have said this but it is so absolutely true look at this guy man He's a freaking joke. Look at him. Complete, utter, freaking dickhead. I mean, I want to kick his ass. And I wasn't even there. I just want to freaking knock the guy out, man. He's just freaking obnoxious. I prefer not to answer that right now. You're making me uncomfortable because you're standing there. I'm sorry, uncomfortable. Look at him. He thinks he's Mr. Are. Tough Guy. Oh, Mr. Freaking Tough. Anybody who acts like this is anything but a tough guy. This guy's not a freaking tough guy. He's got some authority over his crew, and so he's trying to show off to his guys. That's what it is. So, yeah, they give me the authority for a reason. <laughs> anyway, Adam, what you're pointing out here, and I, I applaud you for what you're doing, because what you're pointing out is just how ridiculous spending billions and billions of dollars on the TSA. And how many terrorists have they caught? I can answer your question, Adam. Zero, that's how many. Not a one. And some of the commenters uh, below the video here said that, uh, oh, well, you know, you, uh, of course you can't count them because they're deterring terrorism is what they're doing. You know? No, 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 no. If they were deterring terrorism, statistically, a certain number of them would be deterred by actually getting caught. And so, how many have they caught? Zero. And they're probably not really deterring any as well. If somebody really wanted to be a terrorist, they're going to find a way. There's plenty of ways through. So, uh, that's just BS. And I think, you know, having security or, you know, o some overall screening getting through is reasonable, but not by the TSA, let the airlines do it, and, and not by taking away our rights. So, uh, but, you know, if somebody thinks their bags are going to be screened or something like that, that's going to that's going to deter them naturally speaking. So, anyhow, uh, John Mesmer from the net effect and what's the net effect of this? Is the net effect is to make you realize what a freaking waste of money the TSA is and the low quality of people that they hire to do this job. It's just unbelievable. Okay, John Mesmer, 